Hello, I'm Martin Fenska and welcome to another episode of Let's Play War Tales. So last time I introduced the game, explained how its basic mechanics works, and also we checked the village uh, near our starting location where I needed to confirm that there is one brood to recruit because that's the first fifth character that I would like to recruit into our company. Now when we have the confirmation, <clears throat> I've reloaded back the starting position and we can start playing. So uh, first goal before we go to the village is to pick up some crafting resources and ideally get some experience to get our uh, our brood that we already have this one to level two but I'm not sure we can do it before we get into the village we would have to get lucky but we will, well we will see. So resources. <clears throat> Here we have some herbs uh, those are uh, important for crafting uh, potions. Here we're gonna pick up some uh, iron ore that we're gonna need to craft some uh, uh, better weapons and we will once again have to go through this fight that I already did last time but this is a question of like two minutes. Uh, this really is just to warm up. Nothing difficult here. Uh, so where is the archer? Down here. Can we get to him? Is anybody fast enough to get to him immediately? Ideal our ranger who is not fast enough. Can we? Well, we will have to take one shot here, it seems. If I did it the other way... Nope, no one can get to him. Okay, never mind. Uh, let's do it... Uh, come on. Mm, this should be close enough, yep. So let's look this one into combat, all that we can do. Now we can use a ranger to get behind him, to get some extra damage. Uh, 10 damage from a crit, but we can't kill him, unfortunately he will get his one attack. It's not too bad. Poison is a little annoying, but since there are only two of them, it's nothing that we have to really worry about. Um, we have to be careful with the two-handed mace. And now... From here I should have a 100% chance to hit him. Yep. Okay, so that's one gone. Now we are galvanized. Can we get... Oh, well. Can't really get that much closer. Now the archer. We didn't really get that close. And use or his attack has knockback, so can we get to him now? We can. So at least we now lock him in melee combat. He will probably get one more attack. Because this positioning is kinda weird. I can't uh, move another guy here. This is just too narrow. Let's see, does the archer have enough damage? Can he even get close enough? The positioning is horrible here. Yeah, even with galvanization, this is not enough damage and we will get punched in the face once. Okay. So now, how much damage did we take here? Eight, eight damage uh, for the armor, so it's completely gone. So in this case, it's worth repairing. We will get almost full use of uh, the uh, raw materials. So I'm gonna do it, but I'm not repairing the shield. That will be a waste. Um, <laughs> what did we get? We got a bow. Uh, we can actually use that. Where's our archer here? Because this bow is only plus two dexterity. This one is plus four, so it will have more damage. 
it's not great, but I mean, it also gives us the vicious shot that knocks enemies back, which might be useful. Okay, uh, anything else? Nope. Now, as I said, before we go into the village, we need some materials, uh, especially wood and iron. We can get quite a lot of iron in a nearby mine, so that's the first place where we go, and there we will check um, the first profession, mining, how the minigame works. Here we will get stopped by this group of... Uh, well, militia, I don't know what they exactly are. Uh, where's the refugees? We will toss them out ourselves. We will toss them all out. Uh, yeah, I've been drinking. We all have. How do you know? You serious or something? Pff, never mind. Leave us be. We've got refugees to clear up. Okay, so we could fight them, but later we will get quests. Or we should get a quest to do something about them. Um, and we can bring them some wine, just get rid of them. I'm not sure if I want to fight, uh, fight them or if I give them the wine. For now, we're just gonna leave them. And here is the mine. So, Foreman Salasin, stop right there. This salt mine belongs to her ladyship, Gontrande. I can't just let you walk in. And here we have multiple options. We can bribe him, we can threaten him. That would give us, um, that would give us, where is it here? Suspicion, we definitely don't want to do that. Or we can persuade him for 15 influence. So this is the way how we are using influence during quests. Uh, 15 is nothing, so that's what we're gonna pay with. As you wish, uh, we can't mine the salt because of these two iron veins. Uh, anyway, I really don't understand why we're so keen to go in there. Well, we want the iron. Uh, so this is one iron vein and, uh, and this is the other one. To mine it, we need to have a miner. And that's a profession that we now gain access to. As a miner, we get a bonus constitution, and we want to give the constitution to the brute, who is going to be our tank. So now he is a miner, and watch how I'm going to fail at this mini game. Uh, when I'm not recording, usually I succeed 100%. Here, I guess if I get 60%, I'll be happy. Um, oh, and. Uh, you can see the bonus constitution plus two as a miner. If you are, for example, Tinker, Tinker gives a plus two to crit. Um, but um, we will check that later. So, confirm, and now the minigame. Hey, 100%. So, the more. Um, we get. Uh, we have to like hit the circle when it's uh, when it's green, and uh, the more successful we are, the I'm not sure if we get more iron, but the more experience we get. Uh, I've never failed more than one, uh, so if you only hit four, you get 18 experience. If you hit all five, you get 36 experience. And these are experience for the profession, not for your class. So we are getting closer to uh, becoming minor level two and as a minor level two we will have a chance to find uh, uh, precious gems when we are mining here is the second vein oh crap that was too early and there was also oh come on um it's actually a bit more difficult to hit them with the recording mouse that I have. Okay, well... <clears throat> also, I wasn't focused as much as on the first one. Uh, and I paid for that by not getting a 36 experience. Uh, here, there are some items that we could pick up, but uh, with this cross, you, uh, when you see this cross, that means uh, you'd have to steal it, and of course, stealing things means getting more suspicion, so we want to avoid that. And we can talk to the foreman. You cleared all the iron deposits, well done, we can get back to work. So, that's not that important, we got our influence back as a reward for like, helping them. 
Uh, important thing is that even if I failed twice uh, in the second plane, we got five iron. We just need the iron, the experience. We got 18. Well, uh, it sucks. It definitely sucks because I think we'll get one less wane later when we will have a chance to get the, the precious gems. Uh, and um, that means less money potential, which is quite important early. Well, well I kind of expected to fail. <clears throat> Now, the village is this way, but we don't have our wood yet, so we'll check this forest. Also, if we could get some leather, that would be great. And there is one spot where we can get leather that is guaranteed. The map is not generated randomly. There is not random map generation yet in the game, and I don't know if it will ever be added. So, when you play the game... For second, third, fourth time, you already know where some things are, <clears throat> and it helps with the start. Later, it doesn't really matter, uh, but uh, it definitely helps with the start when you know where you can pick up some of the the, the crafting materials early. So there is more wood. Then this way, there is more iron. There is more wood here, and then we want to inspect this. We'll get, well, attacked. They will uh, run to us. And um, uh, bandits have been attacking caravans and travels along the roads. This must end now. Our merchants will refuse to travel through Tiltran. We might be able to kill them. But they have a leader. And if we get the bad positioning here and the poachers uh, will get multiple shots at us, it could be dangerous. So I'm just going to pass. It's This fight is not that important. It wouldn't give us enough experience, I think. So I'm not going to risk it. We will get back to them later. Uh, we have the option to avoid this fight. So yeah, that's what we want to do. Uh, we want to pick up this wood and then we want to inspect this barrel here where we get... Come on, where we get a leather. Now, I don't want to go too deep into the forest because I don't want to get attacked by uh, animals that are like too high level. It's not guaranteed that everything you find at this point is going to be a level one. Also, this icon above our head means that we are too tired and we need to set up a camp. <clears throat> So we want to do that before we get attacked by anything because if you fight tired you get minus 30% dexterity and strength which basically means minus 30% damage. So and this is how cape camping works. For now we only have a campfire and we have a workshop. So we first check the workshop. Uh, here we can uh, give the tinker profession to someone. It's the one that gives plus two crit and we want that we know that our ranger is going to be crit focused. So we give him tinker and now we can check what we can actually tinker. Uh, Lockpick, fish hook. We don't really care about fish hooks. I don't think I'll be fishing. There are like eight professions and we'll only have five people. So there will be some professions that we will have to ignore. Like you can switch professions, but if you do, every time you switch a profession, you lose all experience and levels that you gain in the profession that you are switching away from. Uh, so I will have to have most likely a thief and uh, what, what is the other one? A thief and a herbalist. Someone will have to have these two professions, so we'll never level them up. Uh, so, I mean, technically we could just have someone who's going to be switching three professions at that point. It doesn't matter, but we'll see about that later. Um, lockpick fish hook, don't need that, don't need any of these, even if we could craft them. We want cooking pot later. So for now, we don't have to craft anything here. Here. Technically, I could do one lockpick because the first time you craft something, you get knowledge. And this would be our first lockpick that we craft. And um, we want to get enough knowledge uh, early to get one knowledge point so that we can unlock blacksmithing recipes. Okay, so I will do one lockpick. We're going to need lockpicks early anyway. 
and uh, investing one iron ore is fine. So there you go, that's the lock. We got six experience for that and we got the, the knowledge points. So that's uh, tinkering and now campfire here. Uh, we uh, feed our people. So for now we have apples and we have bread. I'll just do, what do we get? What do we do here? I think I'll just go with six apples. It doesn't really matter what exactly you give them uh, to eat from this basic food. Later, for example, if you have beer, then beer increases morale until the next camp. Or if you get some advanced cooking recipes and have like pies and uh, I don't know what else is there. Uh, I don't remember. I, I didn't really check these more advanced crafting options that much but you can have some some meals that uh, give for example extra strength until the next camp or i think more stamina things like that so the so the advanced foods are actually quite good but they're also quite expensive so rest uh, as you can see the the stamina bar will get refilled uh, now we are done and we can keep going Again, along the edge of the forest. Here is some more wood, so we definitely want to pick that up. But it doesn't seem like we're gonna find anything that we could hunt. Nope, so we get closer to this building. That's a jail. We don't have to go there yet, but by uh, by uh, like exploring the map and finding another location, we get again more knowledge points. So now we are on 90 out of 100. Once we get to 100, we get the knowledge point and the bar will get reset. Okay, I don't think we have found technically the stables here yet. So we want to do that. And that will give us the point or we can get the point by finding the village actually so we will definitely get uh, our knowledge point there we go there's the knowledge point and here there is a barrel that we want to check this one gives what does it give uh, cloth okay so that's another crafting material and these are just herbs that we don't need for now and here we are in strong cap so let's enter the village now where do we start we can start in the pub we need to talk to some people let's start with the innkeeper uh, say it's not often that you see new face around here well apart from the uh, Iranian war refugees that is uh, feel free to come back often there is always folks looking for work around here especially since all the fighting started across the border uh, we can pay for rest here that would give us one extra valor point but we already have four valor points so we don't need it now and 15 gold at this point is actually quite a lot so we can't afford that. Here we can buy some booze from him, a recipe for apple pancakes, and we can check an apple pancake here. That's one of the more advanced foods. And as you can see, if we use this as a food, then it gives us troop bonus, reduces the speed at which the troop fatigue stacks by 30% last until the next rest. So if we eat pancakes, we can then uh, like run around the map uh, for longer by 30%. It's actually pretty good. So at some point, I may buy this recipe even for 100 gold, um, since that's going to give us more time on the map. But for now, we don't want anything from him. Then we have the informant here. Psst, you, yeah, you, uh, you're looking for work. I can give you tips and point you towards the best missions, the kind that pays much better uh, than the measly rewards the mercenary guild has to offer. Uh, of course, you'll then have to meet the client and meddle in the other people's affairs. But at the end of the day, it's the number of crowns in your purse that counts, right? Uh, so here we can buy information from him. This will point us into a direction where there are quests on the map. Um, I don't need it because I know the starting uh, like area well enough so that I know where to go more or less. Uh, but if you enter like new regions and have uh, some extra influence that you don't really need, then uh, maybe this can speed up your progress in new areas. Just 
tell you where exactly to go to quickly find quests. This might be worth it, but uh, yeah, as I said, not in this region. But we can actually sell items. I uh, just realized we have a bow that's 50 gold that we can get for that. Uh, anything else that we can sell? No, not really. We can leave him. And then we have the emissary uh, Roas here. And this is a quest giver, basically. Might you be looking for work? Our role as emissaries is to ensure that all service requests are fulfilled. We regularly update our job offers. So here we can check some quests. Uh, there is, first one is some gang that we would have to get rid of. Uh, it's an easy quest, so I think I will accept this one, but I would like to get a uh, level two before that. Then we have another easy quest here, unaware of danger they face. A handful of Adorian, Adorians have gone hunting in Sega's forest. Someone must warn them unless they get eaten. This quest is really easy because we don't have to fight there. So I will pick up this one. Uh, these quests are generated semi-randomly. Uh, for example, in my previous run, I didn't get this quest until later in the game. So there is like a pool of quests and from those, uh, like, five are randomly drawn, so don't get the same thing every single time. Uh, I think we can accept this one as well. We can have three quests at the same time, so I want to lock the easy ones. Uh, the average and hard ones are way too difficult for now. Uh, actually, Benzina, Old Lighthouse, we might pick up... No, 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 this one is still too much. We need a level two gear before we accept this one. So, that's that. And now we have 140 gold. Uh, so I think I will recruit the uh, the second brood here, and it's perfect. Because it's oh I didn't know this. Um, when I checked if there is a brood here last time, he had or she had a two-handed mace. I really don't like two-handed maces. I prefer a shield and the one-handed mace. Uh, and this one, the gear is different. I thought they, uh, that she will have always the same same gear. So this is actually uh, pretty good. Uh, she is much more effective as a tank with a sh with a shield and one-handed weapon. Perfect. Well, let's talk to her. I'm at her service, provided you pay me handsomely. I definitely will. Um, did she? Yeah, she has the same same perk. So we're gonna recruit her. It costs us 30 influence and 60 gold. So actually 60 gold, that's a lot. I will have to sell something. Can we afford that? Wait. Um, it's 80 gold right now, but her wage is... Uh, Come on, inspect. 22 gold. Can I find 22 gold somehow? Let's go to the blacksmith and we'll do some crafting. Just a little bit. That's not what I wanted. Uh, what I wanted here is to click the, the animal. I'm going to be failing at, at the blacksmithing so much, judging by the fact that I failed uh, mining, which is easier. Um, so, Blacksmith uh, gives us strength. We want to give that to our Swordsman, who is going to be like our main damage dealer. And he is strength-based class. Um, confirm. And we want to craft... Let me check. I will unlock one recipe. I have to check the crafting material. So, first what I want, I want to craft... Where is it? There's the one-handed maze. Uh, okay. And that requires two leather and then just wood and iron ore. So we have to make sure we keep two leather. We'll need two of these, but um, the second one may take some time to get. Uh, so we can craft the rags. Now, I think I will try to intentionally fail at crafting the rags because if you like are successful at the mini game the armor gets extra points but last time i talked about how raw materials work when you're re repairing the armor so when you have 10 point armor it can take a maximum of 10 damage per fight and you can repair 10 damage exactly with one raw material if we get some extra points 
because we like succeed in the mini game and end up with armor that has 11 points 11 point armor when it's fully destroyed requires two raw materials to fix and i don't want that it's a waste so here it's better to just get a 10 point armor um now i have to figure out how to fail oh and by crafting the rags we will unlock a new recipe. That's basically the main reason why I'm crafting it to unlock the, the recipes. It will be a small upgrade for someone. It's not super important. We just want the recipe. So forge. Yes. And now we have to click the shiny uh, plates in time. I'm intentionally hitting them too late, but we still got superior. Uh, I don't know how to fail enough. If I was clicking a little bit later, basically when the circle shows up, then uh, the plate would light up in gold. And to get the best outcome, you want to hit four gold plates per craft. And that gives you bonuses. It's very important on weapons, on armor. It doesn't really matter that much. In this case, it's even bad. Uh, but yeah, we still proc the superior quality, so this actually is a worse outcome than if we ended up with 10 points. It's more expensive to repair. It's a pain in the ass to repair this. It's a, a bit of a micromanagement, but early when you don't have the, uh, the money to pay or to buy uh, basically whatever you want, um, every little bit matters so who gets this armor five points how much how much does it cost 16 okay so we can't get 22 gold no matter what i could sell something how much is this for example four gold we won't need that many herbs so that would be a that's still not enough i'm trying to find i think it's 22 was it right 22 gold This one is 10 gold. This one is also 10 gold. So it'll sell farmer's rags, that's for sure. You don't get that. You will get. Oh, they're both five points. Okay. Uh, that's not what I want. I want to just talk to him. You can use my anvil uh, for a few crowns. I can also repair your armor. Oh, and I'm looking to hire a skilled blacksmith if you happen to know one. Uh, that's for later. We can sell that. And now, how much are raw materials? Four gold. We could sell some of those, maybe. We, need, we are at 150. We need... 12 so one two three that's 162 this should be exactly enough go back to the pub uh, let's double check the the wages yep Two. Yep, good. Um, she's, she joined and components are happy. Good. Anything else here? Nope. And can we buy anything else anywhere? Uh, not really. Check. I'm, I'm thinking if or we can talk to the mayor actually. That doesn't cost us anything. The other shops we can't afford to buy or sell anything. So, uh, Lady Mayor's Gontrande. Uh, are you mercenaries? I'll have you know that we do not take kindly to refugees in these parts. Why you ask? Because they have overrun our streets and are now taking to the roads. Everyone is sending our way anything with the likes and mouth that cannot wield a sword. You have your work cut out for you. There is no lack of honest work or honest folk in the need of help to fend off the refugees, refugee menace. So we'll leave. 
and we'll leave the village as well. Now, when we check the map, we can see where the quests are. Uh, this one, we want to go after this one first, get some extra money. And I think we have to go the northern road or follow the northern road. We'll pick up some materials along the way. We can trade with these random caravans if we wanted to. So I'll just show you there. Uh, each has a different things to, to trade. Uh, when they have um, this icon, the gold, then they sell like generic uh, goods, crafting materials. Um, uh, we don't want to enter the lumber mill yet. Uh, when they have, um, they can have like an armor icon, then they sell armor, they can have a weapon icon, then they sell weapons. So they are specialized here, for example, this is the one that sells armor. So we can check it out. They have Legion Gambit. I've never seen this one. Is it good? Medium armor, 11 armor, 11 person guard, carrying capacity plus three. That's weird. Don't really care about carrying capacity on armor. Plus, there is a Knight Steel Sword, uh, which is not that great either. But we are, we are level one, so we can't expect some legendary items. Then we want to pick up the iron here. And we should be closer to the down ref. Are they even here? Oh no, there I'm going the wrong way. Oops. Okay, well we can talk to the trackers now when we are here. Uh, so this is a tracker camp. Don't even bother tr bother trying to sell me f uh, your fill. I'm in need of fangs to accomplish our ancient rituals. So this is um, also a vendor, but they don't care about gold. Uh, they use fangs as currency, and whenever we kill animals, uh, we get some fangs from them. So once we get enough fangs, we'll go here. We don't really care about these items, but we care about recipes. So we'll be buying some recipes from them. Uh, in this game, armor can have uh, sockets, and you can socket in layers, and that's what she spe specializes in, recipes for layers. Uh, so that's what we will be coming for, plus there is a blueprint for meat drying rack that we probably want to buy at some point as well. Uh, the other guy... Mm. Master Tracker Brennan. Name is Brennan, Master Tracker. Our brotherhood is tasked with the culling of all the wild beasts on the continent. We reward hunters for their kills and protect the common folk from these vicious animals. Uh, if you want to join us and learn from us, you'll need to prove your worth and take part in your first hunt. That we accept. We get a, uh, we get like a mark or whatever this is. Uh, come back victorious or do not come back at all. And this hunt is difficult as hell. So that's something that we will do much later. But well, we already have the, the let's say, quest. So I don't have to come back here basically until we are done with it. Oh, wait, 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 wait. wait. That looks like we may have something to kill here. Unfortunately, we are tired, and I'm not sure if that was... No, they are, they are running away. I think I saw for a second the icon above uh, above the boars, and it was yellow, which means they would be higher level than us and we would get destroyed. Um, so, time to set up a camp. We are, again, tired. We have more people, so that means we need more food. One extra food. Rest. And keep going. What is this? Oh, we're probably gonna need some of these. Because I saw the first herbs that we got. There is... What is this? Is this wood? Oh, that seems to be like... Those are mushrooms. But that's food, so might as well pick that up. And there are wolves that we can probably take out. Yeah, that's level 1, 6 wolves. That's the kind of fight that we are interested in right now. Those will give us fangs. On level 1, they don't deal that much damage. We managed to surprise them. 
so how do we do this? Uh, that's an AoE attack. We can hit both these two. And where is our tank? Actually, in what order do they move? This one goes first. And this one goes after that. Uh, how fast are you? They can't reach this tile. So, tanks. Move there. Or I could do it from here, look this one, from this side, and then hit them, just try to reduce their numbers as quickly as possible, and then have the uh, swordsman look this one. That's probably the best option here. Who goes third? This one. How far can he go? Can't reach me. So we'll basically divide this fight into two smaller ones. Uh, we'll be fighting this group, five versus three, and hopefully we kill them before the second group's uh, group comes, so we don't get like surrendered and uh, surrender surrounded. Oh, that was a nice crit. That might actually be enough. To... Oh no, actually he attacks first. Never mind, never mind. I thought that uh, it might be enough to kill him before he attacks, but he attacks now. So two points of damage, as I said, level one, they are not that dangerous, but on level two, they would have more hit points, would be dealing more damage. <clears throat> so that's why I didn't want to fight the boars. We can hit both of them. Yeah, it's not enough. The 200 maces just suck. Okay, can we kill this one before he attacks? We should be able to. Uh, attack from here. All oh, right, he's not engaged. Never mind. But it still should be. Yeah, enough. We managed to do enough damage. Okay, good. Um, the problem also with the, like the the cleave attacks is that. Uh, you can attack in a way that doesn't engage anyone, which can be advantageous sometimes. That's what I did here to hit both of them. Uh, if I wanted to engage someone with a two-handed weapon, I would have to face him directly, basically have him in the center of the cone. And in that case, I wouldn't be able to hit both of them. And here, because he wasn't engaged, he was able to turn uh, against the ranger and I didn't get like backstab. Um, so again, small things, but later these things matter and uh, that's why i like have two uh, to have two tanks later that can engage and have actually advantages or are more effective when they are fighting against engaged enemies but well we'll get to that later now we can still move and i kind of want to get out of the way here a little bit but i either get out of the way of the sword man or the uh, maybe i can just stay where i am Actually, it's not a horrible position. Just move maybe a tiny bit. And... Move. Attack. Taunt reduces damage by 50%. And we are full on Valor Point. So maybe I'll just use it. And weaken the, the, the wall for next attack. Why not? You don't really have too many... Um, I abilities for now that use Valor, so may as well use what we have. Uh, I mean, Valor is carried over in between fights, so if you don't need it, it's not always like worth it using it just because. But uh, here, it reduces the damage, so it does something. Um, so... Here. I can't get close enough because the ranger on level 1 is ridiculously slow. I could use aim and kill this one, which is probably worth it here. Actually, it might be better to go after this one. If I... Cr he has 7 hit points. I do 5 to 8 damage. So there is a chance that I actually kill him. And if I do, uh, he won't get an attack. No. And I can't uh, kill this one before he attacks no matter what. 
He, it, it, he should attack the closest target anyway. Yeah. Okay, who goes next? This wolf goes next, and which way does he go? He can... He can reach someone. So here we want to kill this guy. Because he attacks next as well, so we want to prevent that. And what I could do now is move here, activate... Oh, I can't activate Taunt. Uh, uh, I thought it was a different ability. I want him to run through the trap. Maybe back a bit, but now I'm not sure if I'm the closest target. Let's see, this might work. I don't want to be too close um, to get attacked by two wolves. This one, yeah, this one should go this way, run through the trap, do some damage. Now, this one is next, and I can't do anything about it. I can lock him in place, but then this guy, yeah, he gets to me. I could run far enough. To avoid this attack, but is it really worth it? It might be. I probably want to kill here. Because this guy is closer to level 2, so I want to hit, give him the kill. And how far do we have to go now? I'll go here. You can help with this, because we will get hit by this wolf no matter what. And now how far can you get? Um... This is fine. Kill him. There we go. And we can go this way now to get closer to this wolf. Plus now we have a character that has supported it from both sides, which gives him actual supported buff. The Sunus is, in is engaged in combat and next to two free allies. So neither of these two is engaged in combat with anyone. Um, damage taken reduced by 20%. So positioning is also important in this game. The combat is kind of easy to learn, but there are so many small things that allow you to either deal more damage or take less damage. If you're using the initiative order correctly, you can also reduce the damage taken by so much. So mastering the combat is uh, it actually takes some time and um, it's fun i really like it um okay so you are done now the wall surrounds closer but shouldn't be able to get in the range excellent and uh, who goes first this one goes first so we want to kill him i don't think i can kill him with the sword yeah five to six it's, it's only 50 percent chance uh, so i think i'll go for a guaranteed kill Get behind him, now we will get the backstab or ambush, so it's a guaranteed kill. We will get galvanized now. We can end the fight here, but we don't want to. Now we can kill this wolf easily, he won't be able to do anything. Uh, ideally, we want to give the, f the kill to our tank again, or future tank. So, and that, he'll shoot first. 
11 damage and the, the, that some um, uh, extra damage from galvanization that's why we are doing suddenly much more damage um... and get the kill now fingers crossed that this is enough for one of our broods to get level two yes perfect okay uh, we got fangs so that's the currency for the hunter's guild uh, leather crafting material, grease that's also crafting material, for example for torches, then we got wolf meat, uh, for now we can eat it raw, it's worth two food, so it's pretty decent already, uh, but if we get the cooking recipe, and it's actually a basic cooking recipe, it's just the wolf meat with salt, then we can make like wolf sausages i think it is and those those are worth three food so i think that's going to be the recipe that we will learn first the cooking recipe and then we have also animal carcasses that we can keep that we can eat as well those are really heavy they are they weigh two i don't know two uh, weight units whatever it, this is i don't know kilograms something um so extremely heavy but for now we can use them we will eat them first later we'll be leaving them behind because we will just have too many things okay do we have to repair anything here we are missing six six points so probably not worth repairing especially because two points are the shield uh and here it's three points here and two points from the shield so again it would be a waste uh, then a level up for our brute so that's here and uh, brutes can specialize or pick subclass on level two for example archers and the rangers uh, don't get their subclass until uh, until level three uh, and we want to become a destroyer so as a destroyer we'll be able to use heavy armor and we gain ability called weakening blow so when we hit someone with this it reduces its damage by 50 percent for three rounds so ideal uh, ability for a tank uh, and as a as a destroyer want to specialize in one-handed maces and uh, and the shield uh, the other options would be a smasher with that we would get poisoned impact deals eight damage to all the units in the area applies to poison uh to bleeding units it's too conditional you first have to make them bleed somehow then you can poison them eh. uh as i said too many conditions poison means loses five percent of their maximum health at the end of their turn and it stacks uh, so if you can apply a lot of poison, it can be effective, but most enemies die before you can really stack up either bleed or poison on them. So I'm just ignoring it for now. Maybe later in the game it becomes better, but from what I've seen, direct damage uh, is better than damage over time. Uh, as a smasher, we would only be able to use medium armor. And then the third option would be Vanguard, uh, that has a reckless charge, disengages and charges in a straight line dealing 4 damage to all units in their path and applies slowdown for one turn. This is an interesting ability, but it's more like a utility character uh, specialized in a black weird crowd control. I'm not really sure how exactly I would use this to its maximum effect. So I've never even tried Vanguard. I've seen the AI use this ability and I didn't really like it. Uh, it does, doesn't really like scales that well. Slowdown is interesting, but um, to make it, uh, I mean, you want to apply slowdown so that the enemy can't reach you. And with this ability, most of the time the person using the, uh, the relentless charge would end up in the range of the slowed enemy so it's weird i don't really know how i would use vanguard properly you could charge first then run away i don't know just don't feel really like it and yeah as i said brutes are supposed to be our main tank so we are going with destroyer for both of them also uh, as vanguard and smasher with this plus one strength so that suggests these two are like damage focused builds the destroyer gets plus five constitution so that suggests this is supposed to be a tank okay so that's destroyer and what did we get we can get plus two constitution 
plus one movement or plus one strength. These are always generated randomly when you level up. You get plus two into one stat and then two other stats plus one. It's up to you to decide which you pick, but the stats that get the increase are chosen randomly. Um, this is actually an interesting question because plus two constitution and plus one strength are quite close. We don't really need that much constitution, even though it's a tank. As a tank, we want armor rather than some crazy constitution. Plus two is nice, though. The thing is, we don't really need anything else. We just want strength constitution. The rest we don't care about. So here, I think I value the strength a little bit more. Okay, and we don't want to repair anything, as I said, we can keep going. And now, when we have a tank on level 2, we want to get back to the village as soon as possible, even though we didn't finish any quests yet. And we want to do some crafting, and this time it's important that I don't fail the crafting. So, we want to sell anything. We could maybe... Let me check... And those are worthless. We could sell the grease, but it's really not worth anything. No, I don't think we want to sell anything. But, oh, wait, we have to sell at least one item. Ah, we'll be able to sell a weapon. No, 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 we are fine. So, crafting. There we go. And now we are crafting the first uh, advanced weapon. But here, I really need to hit all four. But I won't. Yeah, I missed that one. God damn it. Um, so instead of uh, plus seven maze, we ended up with plus six because I missed the last one. Um, it sucks. It means one less damage on average per attack. But, hey, I'll take it. I didn't really expect to hit all, all four. Uh, I just suck at this minigame. I still enjoy it for some reason. Usually I don't enjoy things that I suck at, but here I, I just love crafting. So, that's the maze. Unfortunately, we can't afford to craft a shield, I think, unless... Let's actually check. First of all, let's sell the maze. That will give us the money that we need. It's worth 30 gold for some reason, even though it's such a garbage item. Um, what do we need to craft a shield? Well, we can craft one. We have exactly enough wood. And this is also an item where we want to succeed Oh, come on. Again, plus five instead of plus six. It's not the end of the world, but I mean, when you succeed the first three, then miss the last one by like a tenth of a second, it just sucks. Uh, which one was it? This one. Okay, so we equip the shield. And suddenly you can see that we have way more abilities. We have the Weakening Blow, also doing much more damage than the 12. And uh, we have Protection uh, or, or Deflection that we can activate to, for significant damage reduction. And by the way, these two stack. So you can weaken the enemy to do 50% and then you can further reduce that by another 70%. Uh, so if you activate both, you just take one damage from almost anything. Um, it's quite expensive when it comes to uh, when it comes to valor points, but early in combat, reducing the damage to minimum is super valuable. Uh, now, I want to check. I want to check how close we are to level up for our second tank. No, this is not a tank. This is a swordsman. It's not that important. Plus, we want a two-handed sword for him. 
you yeah that's gonna take a while because that's the tank that we recruited and uh, she started with zero hit points okay anything else no we have enough food for four days we have money to pay uh our people it's gonna be two hours i would like to do at least one quest finish one quest Yeah, now we have to pay wages, the game always tells us, so that we don't forget. And to do that, we have to quickly set up a camp, use the campfire again, and here we pay the wages. Uh, there should be an icon somewhere to pay the wages, like, from uh, uh, from the world map, so we don't have to set up a camp. Maybe there is, I just don't know. Uh, but, yeah, this is annoying. So we pay, and now we have three days to get money pay again and the money we should get from the quest I'm not really interested in uh, uh, the herbs because unless I fail horribly we shouldn't need medicine uh, we discovered this farm, so we got now enough points, enough knowledge points. Uh, I still want more more crafting recipes, so we got our uh, our one handed maces next. That's a good question. We need a sword. We need a better dagger, and we need a bow. Bow is expensive as hell. And the claymore also is not cheap. Um, hmm. Probably gonna leave it and see once our people start hitting level 2 uh, how much iron, especially iron, we have. And that will decide what, which recipe we learn next. I think I would like the two handed sword, but. Oh, crap. I'd like the two handed sword. But I'm not sure we will have the materials. Okay, before we enter the snow, I want to set up a camp because I really don't like camping in the snow. Usually there is um, a small chance that you will get ambushed. It's already here, we have 10%. But I think we can live with 10%. So we want to get rid of that. And let's... Oh, actually, no, we only need one, so let's just eat the apples. Cool. We didn't get ambushed, so here are the guys that we are looking for, the hunters, and they are coming towards us. Which actually we don't care about because we want to pick up some resources around here. And there are some boars. Uh, we came to hunt for food uh, for our families, but the animals here, their calls uh, are enough to make your hair stand on end. Uh, I'm beginning to wonder if we did the right thing coming here, but now that we are here, we can't go back empty-handed. Oh, well, you can go back empty-handed. Um, I could give them five wolf meat. Uh, we would get two pythons that I don't know how to use. Uh, they're supposed to help you like scale um, or climb cliffs, but only, you can only climb down. I don't think they work in a way that you can climb up. And I, I never figured out how exactly they work. Uh, so I don't really care about pythons. Plus python, to craft python, you need, I think one iron and one rope. I'm not even sure you need the rope. So they are really cheap, definitely not worth five meat at this point. Uh, or we can persuade them for 20 influence and get three rope from them, which is much better ratio. So we're gonna do that. Uh, I see, thank you for warning us. Uh, we were venturing into unknown territory. Thank to you, we'll get back to our families safe and sound. Except there is the rope. We're gonna need rope to craft the bow. And here, let's check the boars. Can we... Oh, they're attacking us. Crap. Crap, crap. Oh, they're level 1. Okay, I didn't see their level. That's why I was nervous. Uh, if they were level 2, we would be in trouble. But level 1, 8 boars, we should be able to handle. Especially because of the level 2 tank that we now have. Uh, we are fighting on the snow in the fog. So we can't see 
all of them. You can't see one. Uh, so you'll go down. And you'll go closer so that we again try to split the fight into two. They have 15 hit points, so we should be able to kill like two per turn, ideally. Um, so this one we don't see. The last, the one that we don't see is somewhere around. Oh, there. No, that's a trap. It's probably somewhere around here. So we will get attacked by him. Positioning sucks here. Need to avoid the trap. Okay, we should be able to kill him. With the weakening blow. Now they... That activated Fury, unfortunately. That's their ability when one of their friends dies. Their next attack deals 50% more damage. So I think we want to activate protection for that. We again are full on Valor points. We'll probably burn all the points here. Yeah, there is the one. Deals one damage. And let's see. Uh, when does this one go? Question is, can I get to him? Could get here. I'm not sure that I can kill him. Yeah, that's why I was complaining about the positioning because I can't really reach these two before they attack. So I think I'll just focus on this one. Just get the, as many kills as quickly as I can, even though they already, even on those that already attacked. That was a nice crit. Can I? No, I can't even reach this one. The archer won't be able to hit. Yeah, he's too far. This is horrible. I could activate aim, but I'm not sure it's worth it. It probably is. Um, Yeah, now we will be taking more damage. It's not like like we are in any danger, any real danger here, but I don't want to take too much damage. Okay, we should be able to get a kill because we will surround him, so... That should be enough. Now, who goes next? This one goes next. But I have two attacks before that happens. Let's see if I can one-shot him, if I can get lucky enough with... Oh, wait, no, I can't. He's not engaged. I'm still forgetting <clears throat> that they are not engaged. It still should be enough. this way oh by the way we have the option to capture the the, the boar uh, but i don't think i want to waste a rope on a level one animal because if we if we capture them then uh, they will basically join us and fight on our side we can't control them usually they die in one or two fights unless you level up your archer as a beast master uh, which then allows you to control the animals i'm not planning on that yeah i think i'll just 
try to kill it. This guy goes last, so we should be able to kill him with the shot and with the with the sword, and then we will have the the best character, the one that deals most damage against one of the one of the fresh ones. Probably this one. See, here the line of sight comes into play, we only have 74% chance to hit the boar, so I have to reposition, I definitely don't want to hit my people. There we go. And get closer to the edge of the map. I'm still in range of this boar. But I can get to him, hopefully kill him. Should have the damage for a kill. Yeah, definitely have damage for a kill. And you can see the difference between the uh, the level one and level two weapons. Oops, I thought that we won't get hit by any of these. Oh well. Okay, who goes first now? This one. I have two attacks. Technically, I could, I think, kill him with the stab and the bow attack. Let's all knock him back, though. Whoops. I'm gonna do it anyway. I need to. Oh, great. I want to say I need at least six damage, but we managed to crit. That's a trap. I think I will have to go through the trap. It doesn't do that much damage. Oh, I was able to dodge it. There we go. And now with galvanization. Can we kill the remaining two? Um, I'm not sure that I can reach them. Oh no, I can reach all of them. So I'm not sure that this attack has enough damage. And I don't want to waste the rope. Ropes are not that easy to get. Come on, you can do it. Oh, damn it. So unfortunately, two more damage. And we have to spend the last power point not to get attacked again. Uh, no, I want to finish them off. And make sure that the kill goes to the second tank. Cool. We got the level up for the ranger only, unfortunately. I was really hoping we'll get the a level up for the second brute, but well, we are, he was or she was only on 40 experience, so I, yeah, I should have expected that it won't be enough. Some crafting materials, some food, and the level up. So as a ranger, we can't pick a subclass on level two, but we can uh, we can. Uh, pick up a valor generating ability. Each class gets one, just that rangers and uh, archers, basically dexterity based classes, first get valor generating abilities 
and get their subclass on level 3 and strength based classes first get their subclass and then the valor generation on level 3. Um, this is I think a perfect level up for us. We want to focus on crit. We got uh, plus 2. So we're gonna grab that for sure. And from the uh, from the valor generation uh, generating skills um, Valor is audacity every time this unit ends their turn next to an enemy and is not engaged in combat you can you gain one valor so That's not what we want. We want our ranger to deliver the killing blows from ambushes so he will stand behind uh, the enemy stab them and kill them so he won't or we don't want him to end the turn in the ambush position with the enemy still alive so this is not what we want uh, a valorous victory every time this unit kills an enemy you get one uh, one valor that's the one that we want and then a valorous support every time this unit ends their turn next to an ally and is not engaged in combat you gain one valor uh, Valorous support is something that we want for our archer. So here we go with the victory. And now repairs. He will, here we probably will have to repair some things. Six points here. Probably don't want to waste materials on six points yet. Uh, here it's uh, four points and five points. I'm going to repair the shield. It's unfortunately only five points. This is why I wanted to have the shield with six points, why I wanted to succeed uh, with the crafting, because then we would be repairing six instead of five points and would be a bit more effective. Um, oh well, can't really do anything now. I can try again later once we get more materials, or we'll just craft higher tier. Uh, items and this is not worth it. Okay, so we are done here. We pick up all of the loot. Uh, we can go on. Let's pick up these herbs. These are more difficult to find and are uh, also necessary for healing potions. So I'm picking up the mountain, mountain, whatever they are called. What is the name? Snow Iris. That's what they're called. Oh, yeah, pretty lucky in getting three both times. There's more iron here. And I think on the way back, we will. Oh, now we are. We have too much stuff, so we'll have to throw away uh, the carcasses at least one, or I'll probably tr throw away two. Hmm. Do we want to deliver the quest first? Or do we want to fight first? Now let me check something. How many crafting materials? How much iron? We have quite a lot of iron. We don't have any wood. What do we need to craft this? Three wood. It shouldn't be difficult getting three wood. So we could return back to the village for our reward and cross the better dagger and then go back do multiple quests get the level ups and return to the village and craft the remaining weapons i think that's what we're gonna do that's what we can do in this episode just need to find the wood Okay, we're gonna pick up that. And now we are looking for wood. I would even buy wood at this point. So we can check the... No, this one won't have any wood. Uh, yeah, this just have armor and weapons. There is wood, uh, so we just need to get lucky and get two wood out of that. 
that's gold. That's stomp, so that's just for sale. Come on, give me plus two. Plus two, there we go. Now we need to set up a camp. Get rid of that. We have two more points back. Um, back to the village. Could probably go through the forest. We might actually get something there. There is a flower or herb. Oh, we are pretty lucky because we are getting maximum uh, amount every time almost. Good. Now, uh, just deliver the quest. That's all. We'll do the crafting next time. Uh, might you be looking for work? Our role as emissaries, blah, blah, blah. That's the same thing. Call it bounty, 130 gold. So we now have enough, now we have enough money to pay our people in 21 hours. And we will check the, uh, the, the quests again. I think we can accept this one now. Definitely don't want to do rats yet, and this one, that's a boss fight, this one is tough. In two hours we get new ones. <coughs> we could wait around here, but it's not really that important. So anything else? Uh, we will sell the scalpel for 14. Is there anything else for sale? No, there isn't. Uh, next time we will be crafting the dagger. So I may as well learn it already. And yeah, that's it for this episode. Uh, so I hope that you like this episode. I hope that you're going to join me next time again. And until then, have a good time. Bye-bye.